Almost every film genre that was ever invented is still thriving to this day, but there is one that did not see the light at the end of the tunnel, or should I say, the light at the end of the revolver's barrel, the Western, which has a very interesting history and an even more interesting death. The Western came in waves, starting with Wave 1, the initial Western, late 1930s to late 1950s. The initial western is a wave that you probably haven't heard about. They were a lot less story-driven and more action-driven. Another thing was that historical accuracy wasn't really a priority in this wave, giving these westerns a very exaggerated feeling to them. Also, John Wayne was a very famous actor that starred in many of the initial westerns. But soon the 1960s came, and the western evolved, creating Wave 2, Italian filmmakers in the spaghetti westerns early 1960s to late 1970s. Now this is the wave of the Western that you are probably most familiar with. The Dollar Trilogy, Django, and many more iconic films came from this wave of the Western. Sergio Leone is probably the most well-known director of Westerns in general, mainly because of his Dollar Trilogy, which also stars Clint Eastwood, who starred in many Wave 2 Western movies. Also, second wave westerns were considerably more historically accurate than the first wave westerns. But by the end of the 1970s, it was pretty clear that the second wave was declining, as filmmakers stopped caring about westerns and audiences stopped caring too, initiating wave 3, the death of the western, late 1970s to late 1980s. Now, although I call this its own wave, it's more like a continuation or ending of wave 2. So as time went on, westerns were declining very badly, in every way, shape, and form. And once the 1980s hit, westerns were nearly dead. And then, the mid-1980s hit, which is arguably the worst time for the western, as most were now comedies. And by the end of the 1980s, the western was dead. Well, not quite yet, because around 14 years later, in 2004, a video game was released initiating Wave 4, the rebirth of the Western, 2004 to now. In 2004, Red Dead Revolver was released by Rockstar Games. It has a great Wave 1 Western feel to it, with its music, action-based gameplay, and everything else about it just feels like a Wave 1 Western film, but in a video game. And six years after that, Rockstar Games released Red Dead Redemption, which has a second Wave Western feel to it, and two years after that, Django Unchained was made, which is my favorite western film. It doesn't really feel like a Wave 1 or Wave 2 western, but rather its own thing. And today we have Red Dead Redemption 2, which was released in 2018, and the TV show Yellowstone, which premiered in 2018. Yellowstone also has a bunch of cool spin-offs, like 1883 and 1923. So, is the western still dead? Well, no, but the prime of the Western will never see the light at the end of the revolver's barrel.